break right there has uh, been a favorite of mine for many, many years. And uh, I've always been a big fan of a band called the New River Boys from New River, Tennessee. And that uh, particular banjo break, I have set and studied that thing and, and uh, tried to get it down to a T for hours on end as, uh, as a kid growing up and even nowadays. And uh, I absolutely love Tommy Phillips' banjo break on that from the original New River Boys. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Uh, today's purpose of this video is uh, to take a little tour of New River, Tennessee. Uh, my good friend John Burge and I took a trip on June the 10th of 2020, just a few days back, over to New River, Tennessee, which is on the other side of the mountain from where I live. Uh, it's right across Caraville Mountain here in East Tennessee. And uh, we got to sit down and have a little visit with the last of the original surviving members of the New River Boys, and that was Mr. Tommy Phillips. And as I say, we'll get into all that here in a little bit, and uh, we're looking forward to taking you on a little adventure today. Well, we're now in New River, and this is a beautiful, sacred place to me. Uh, there's no cell phone service. Uh, it's almost like you step back a uh, hundred years in time. It's just just such a beautiful place. A whole different feeling you get when you when you get here. And uh, the people that live on New River are such solemn people. Uh, they're full of wisdom. They're a true definition of Appalachian mountain folk, and uh, they just uh, are wonderful people to be around. Uh, as you can see, we're going across the bridge right now that uh, Mr. John Burge built, who is driving us right now, and he built this just a few months ago. Here we are at Red Oak Baptist Church. It's been here many, many years. It's a little mountain church house, and it's just a few yards up from right here is where I learned how to play music. My papa Scobie used to bring me up here to Cordis Burge's Log Cabin, and this is where music used to happen all the time, just right up from the church here. Uh, we're now inside, and uh, there's not been a service here for quite some time. Uh, the only time there's a service anymore is homecoming in June. This place is so beautiful, and uh, the, the sound inside this building is so amazing. A uh, place that is very dear to my heart, up on Red Oak Mountain, right up from New River, Tennessee. Pitney was a very godly man and a wonderful musician. Here he is with Mr. Tommy Phillips of the New River Boys. Uh, also pictured here is Pitney and his grandson, John Burge. While John and I were at Red Oak Baptist Church, we decided to do a little bit of acapella singing ourselves. And uh, the acoustics in this building is absolutely incredible. As I said before, there's no cell phone service anywhere on New River, and up here especially, uh, there's really no electricity. Uh, most of the time, if there's ever a service here, there's either a battery that's used that uh, is plugged in, or a generator ran outside the window along with the outhouses. 
I also wanted to give my hand at one acapella song, one of my all-time favorites, the old uh, Baptist tune, He's My All in All. When I was first starting to DJ and get into the music business, um, one of the first bands that ever came to WDVX and played inside was the New River Boys. And this was back in uh, the late 90s, and uh, Tommy Phillips was heading up the band at that time uh, while Pitney was away in South Dakota. And uh, Tommy Phillips showed me everything I needed to know about how to sing Lonesome and how to put feeling into the music. Back in 2004 at the Museum of Appalachia's Fall Homecoming and uh, Tommy Phillips and Charlie Pollard was standing around the table while I as a young kid tried to do a little singing.
idea of what it's like over in New River. Uh, we've been to a few places so far, uh, especially up at the Red Oak Baptist Church, which was established back in the 1930s. And uh, we saw some of the landscape in New River. As you can see, uh, you have to have four-wheel drive to get around in some of the places over there. And uh, we have saw some of the great people over there um, and talked a little bit about the New River Boys. Well, the last stop that John and I made while we were over there the other day was stopping by Mr. Tommy Phillips' house. And of course, uh, we just saw some of the great videos of Tommy uh, in the past several years. And uh, Tommy is now 83 years old. He is the only surviving member of the original New River Boys. And we stopped by his house and had a great visit with Tommy. And uh, we even talked him into singing a few with us. And at 83 years young, he can still cut the mustard pretty well. <laughs> Won't you talk me down, lover? Won't you talk me down? <laughs> I used to have our tradition right here. Come on in. Boys, come on. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Was... Come on in, Dalton. Close that door. It won't be too hot. I was going to take a picture or two if you don't mind. <laughs> Go ahead, just take them off. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'll even let you take one of this fella right here if you want to. Oh, yeah. I could not believe it when Tommy showed me this. This is a picture of Tommy and I when I was a little kid at WDVX Studios playing live on the radio. And this was a newspaper article from back many, many years ago. And to see this hanging up in his garage made my day. Or was it further than that? It's on back further than that, I believe. You're an old red speaks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forget that woman's name. She was a. See me like she was a weather forecaster or something. She sung and huh. played on the Red Speaks she show. And she. Had, you know, that big Harley that I used to ride. <laughs> See if I can get a little close up of that. Oh yeah. What? How about that? Sharon was singing with the New York boys. Oh shit. There's one old Tony Rice, Kimmy. Oh, yeah. I know it was. Who's on that? I bet Dandy probably. We left her that night. I love the way you picked that on the banjo. That's that... one figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, that'd be good. That sounds good. Yeah, we well, thought, oh.
a treat that was getting to uh, visit with the man himself, one of my heroes, Tommy Phillips, at 83 years young, over on New River, Tennessee, at Beach Fork, where he lives, and he is the last surviving member of the original New River Boys, and uh, that was just such a treat to get to uh, go over and uh, not only see the beautiful Red Oak Baptist Church up there on Red Oak Mountain uh, at New River, but uh, to also drive through and see uh, all sorts of great monuments over there and uh, get to visit with Mr. Tommy Phillips with my good buddy, John Burge. And I want to thank John Burge one more time. John's a, a great friend of mine, and I want to thank him for... Uh, doing the trip and uh, showing me all sorts of wonderful places that I didn't know existed that uh, his papa Pitney had uh, showed him over the years. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed the trip to New River. We look forward to doing another one of those uh, again real soon. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. I'll be gone Sunday.